Hey there guys, M Tim Tam here. Today we're going to learn about uh, an omission that I forgot to mention um, back in 2010, I think it was, or 11, when I started this tutorial series. Blackbody Emissions is using real world um, options that a light would have instead of using a standard textured base in emission. So I have a scene here um, that is a room with a floor and some lights, some new state-of-the-art lights and everything. It's still a work in progress, but most, mostly made it just for this tutorial. But um, yeah, let's add the black body emission. So right click, add node, emissions, black body. And this is your black body emission. Join it to your texture. And we're going to turn the atmosphere all the way down. So, we now have these settings. Temperature, power, normalized, distribution, efficiency or texture, orientation and sample rating. Now, what do all these do? Um, what are the scientific terms or the actual proper terms for them and the, well, give me the simple version for it. Well, I'll tell you. Alright, so for the first thing is the temperature. The temperature is set in Kelvin, I believe, and it's very simple. If it's very simple, uh, right now it's on uh, sort of a bluish white. If we put it down to 500, it's red. If we keep on going up and up, it'll go to our orange, to our yellow. A blue, really blue, totally blue. Um, setting this to the uh, chosen Kelvin temperature of let's just say a light bulb, a LED light or anything, um, you would put this down. However, you do have to compensate um, for the scaling of your world as the chosen values will, may not be enough. The power is the um, the watts of the uh, light of your light emitter? Um, there are separate uh, charts for different of them for different uh, lights out there, such as LEDs, light bulbs, um, I know, remote light, which is very low. Um, this shouldn't be um, it shouldn't be used as a general power of lighting for your scene. Um, obviously, my world is in a scale because I have to go all the way up to get you know some light here. So don't use it as a power, but more as a watt power. Uh, the distribution. Uh, the distribution. The distribution is mostly used with um. Uh, the uh, IES uh, light textures, um, which is uh, which can be viewed in my other tutorial back ages ago, um, but uh, yeah, um, it can be used a lot with the uh, IES lights. As of the plain texture, it pretty much is like an on and off switch. Efficiency and texturing. Um, um, it's pretty much um, a way of getting the efficiency of all lights because apparently like lights isn't a hundred percent efficient. Um, let's just say you have like a light bulb and um, obviously the light bulb isn't going to cover the whole entire room, not like a plane uh, would. Um, so setting the uh, efficiency to a standard amount. Um, would be of use to you. As you can see, um, it is putting a lot more depth and power into my scene here without using the um, actual power control. The orientation is uh, for your IES lights. I think I might do a, a test of it, but you know what? I think I will. So we're going to go to right click, uh, images, float image, 
uh, I'm going to go to my IES lights. I'm just going to pick any random one. Whoops, wrong one. Oh, yeah, that's the right one. So this is the orientation, as you can see I'm getting different shapes and patterns, a really good example. But you can change the shapes of the orientation and everything. Yeah, that's my friend. Uh, next is the sample rating. Um, sample rating is pretty much uh, the uh, objects. It's pretty much the objects that is uh, closest to the uh, actual to your scene. Uh, let's just say that there is a um, uh, there's something closer, an object that's closer to the light source. This might get a more um, sampling done. Uh, here we have the sampling rate. The sampling rate is pretty much. Um, how much weight is given to the uh, emitter. Um, uh, you can choose lights, which last light sources will receive more samples, which is which will be really good for the um, interior scenes and uh, and such. Oh, yeah, there's a bit of a difference, but um, yeah, try and experiment with all these. Um, with all these uh, different options, um, it'd be very useful for real world situations. Um, take into account the actual scaling of your um, uh, of your world, as it can uh, cause a negative influence on your render. Uh, thank you. Um, hopefully, you found this uh, tutorial of use. Um, uh, mostly it's just up to um, uh, you uh, filling all the controls and everything um, using different IS lights and everything because you can do so much different variations using these options as of the, as of the uh, yeah anyway thanks for looking at thanks for watching and uh, I'll be uploading a new tutorial um, in the coming days